What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another luxury home tour. My name is Darren Kriz and today we are going to give you a full tour of this beautiful brand new construction home located in the San Fernando Valley of Los Angeles. So we're in the northern San Fernando Valley of Los Angeles in a private gated community and this new construction home has incredible views of the entire valley all the way to the Santa Monica Mountains. The contemporary home features five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, 3,941 square feet of interior space, and currently is priced to start at just $1.2 million. As we arrive to the front of the home, you can see to my left, we have a modern driveway with concrete slabs and turf pattern leading you up to that two car garage door. And taking a look at the exterior, a lot of beige colors. You see the stone wall to my right. And I am a fan of the colors of this home. You have the sand and dark green features. It kind of matches the landscaping here in the front yard. Lots of beautiful landscaping to my right. The great things about this home in this community is you can customize landscaping to your liking, which is very nice. And as we arrive to the front of the home, let's just go inside. Boom, as we arrive inside this contemporary home, we immediately have this grand entrance to my right, just a gallery wall. You can have some nice paintings or pieces of artwork beneath these modern light fixtures. And you have custom walls there to my right. If I keep walking forward, I'm gonna enter the open living space, but we're not gonna do that just yet. We're gonna take a turn this way. And now we're in a carpeted bedroom. This would be the guest bedroom or the maid's quarters. And I do love this wallpaper right on the back side of the bed. And this is the front of the house. We have windows on two walls looking out to your landscaping out there. There are pretty high ceilings in this room as well. Perfect for your guests or your in-laws potentially. It's also en suite. So let's check out this bathroom. And so you can see the modern finishes in this bathroom with the quartz countertops, bright white cabinetry, chrome handles, large mirror up there on the wall. As we look into the shower, beautiful smooth tiles surrounding the entire shower. And you do have a quartz shower bench there chrome shower head up on those beautiful tiles as well. But let's keep moving and see what the other bathrooms are like compared to this one as well. Directly in front of that guest room is where your powder room is located, which we're in now. And as you look at the walls, you have floor to ceiling, rustic gray tiles up on the walls there, freestanding sink, toilet right next to it, just your basics in your bathroom. And I do love that the wood continues on in here, same wood that we'll see throughout this main level. As we continue moving on this way, First, we have the Harry Potter room to show you guys. Just plenty of space down there. It tucks back and it curves and it makes an L shape down there, but plenty of storage space. But now here we are, open concept living at its finest here in California. So immediately after exiting the entryway of the home, you get these 30 foot high ceilings for your dining area to my right but we are going to take a turn to my left, show you the kitchen first and loop around through the backyard, take a turn into the dining room and then go upstairs. So if you follow us this way, just check it out. An absolutely massive quartz center island, plenty of bar seating all throughout and you don't see a waterfall edge here on this side because they made it for extra space for more bar stools for your breakfast bar. As we look above, there are four light fixtures surrounded in bulbs with that chrome rod hanging down. I really love that. To my left, built-in monogram microwave, all white cabinetry throughout, very modern, very contemporary. More quartz countertops right next to your six burner gas stove. Beneath that, two more ovens. Up on the backsplash, you have diagonal tiles in a darker black and gray tone. More countertop space over here in the light gray quartz countertops. You have the light gray quartz, and then you have your white quartz here on the island. And as we keep moving this way in the kitchen to my left, you have your full pantry area. But not just yet, as you move this way, similar finishes with the luxury quartz countertops in the gray tones up there. Same backsplash we saw right above the stove. And as we keep walking this way, there is a door leading into the walk-in pantry room. And up above, lots of floating cabinetry. And also to my right, this door, what do you think leads into? Two-car garage. 
So as you arrive in your home through your garage, you exit the pantry and you are in the kitchen with the open concept floor plan as you see. To my left, this is where your fridge and freezer is. Stainless steel appliances throughout. More quartz countertop space. There is no shortage of countertop space in this home. You can see to my left, just plenty of room. Same backsplash up there, floating white cabinetry all the way up to the ceiling. And now we are in your family room. Plenty of space in your family room. Looking above me, you have a circular modern light fixture acting as a statement piece here in the family room. But then as you look to my left, large flat screen TV up on the wall above that gas fireplace down below. And I do love more rustic tile surrounding the fireplace going all the way up to the ceiling. Just overall a great space to hang out while you can still see what's going on over in the kitchen or in the dining room, in the living room. Plenty of more space to see on this level, but we're first gonna take a turn outdoors because there's a sick view out there. So we now have the sliding glass doors open up to give you that indoor outdoor flow and just check it out. This is your backyard and you get views of the San Fernando Valley. It is a little foggy right now, but you can still see pretty much all the way to the Santa Monica Mountains and you have more mountain views to my right. Lots of beautiful landscaping here in this backyard. You have a fire pit surrounded by these rock features, lots of seats around it. You can have plenty of people just hanging out, cooking up s'mores, doing what you wanna do around a fireplace and getting warm. As we make our way over to this side, some real grass, and to my right, some lounge chairs just facing the views. And one thing I really do love about these new construction homes is that the backyards don't have to come like this. You can customize it however you want, as I said earlier in the video. And I think this one's incredible. So if you wanna put a pool also, you can put that in right here. There's plenty of space to do that. As we keep moving, there is some room for an outdoor dining area. And as you see, the sun is just hitting us right now. Plenty of sunlight coming into this backyard. It'd be nice to enjoy some food here in the outdoors if you don't want to always be cooped up inside. But now we can head through more sliding doors and enter the living room. And there it is. We just magically opened up these sliding doors and we've entered the living room. And honestly, when you first step in here, you get a different vibe from the family room. It feels completely different when you're here in person. As you look up, we have concave in ceilings, modern chrome light fixture, beautiful light fixture. I was just in awe staring at it. I was almost at a loss for words. It's incredible and it's pretty massive. And we have a dark gray painted wall above there with all of those beams together crossing, gives it a different look. Built-in speakers, recessed lighting. To my left, flat screen TV in the center of all of this built-in shelf space. Down below, more windowed cabinetry space. You can store any books down there, anything you need for your TV area. Right away, I would have to say I'd probably spend the most time in this room. I just think this light fixture gives it a completely different look overall. It makes it very modern, gives it a contemporary touch as well. But as we move on, it opens up to your dining area, as I mentioned earlier. And what's different about this dining area is the high ceilings, of course, 30, maybe even 40 foot high ceilings. I'm not sure on the exact measurement, but they are extremely high. And if you look up there, you have a Sputnik chrome light fixture, very modern chandelier hanging up above in the center of your dining table. So you can have all of your guests having a good dinner at your dining table right next to the kitchen, the living room, the entire family can hang out together. Heading up the stairs, I do like the view that you guys are seeing right now. You can see the entire first level. Wow, this is my first time seeing it and it's actually better than I imagined it in my head. So as we head up here, one last look at the view and we're gonna head upstairs. We've made it to the top level and as you look behind me, we have three windows bringing in a lot of natural sunlight to this open space down there and up here above. And now we have arrived to this bridge area and first we're gonna notice the wall to my right. It's the same exact wall that we saw down there below with the grand entrance so you can put any pieces of artwork up here with the lights right above it displaying them very nicely. So up here on this level behind me, we have the common area and then three bedrooms and behind you guys, we have the master bedroom which we're gonna show last. So first, let's walk backwards this way and turn to my right. First, we do have the laundry room. And the first thing I noticed about this laundry room, aside from all the bright white modern features, down below we have a light white rustic herringbone tile there on the flooring. 
you have both of your washer and dryer in front of me, and then the same quartz countertops that we saw throughout the kitchen downstairs surrounds this laundry room. Have a sink there in the back, and that's pretty much it. Very nice laundry room, lots of room. You don't feel so claustrophobic in here, which is a good plus. Directly in front of that, you have some space for any towels, any necessities here before you arrive to some of the bedrooms and this common landing space, which we are about to show you. So at first you might think this common area is completely open from the staircase, but we actually do have this barn door that can close it off. So if this is the kids' room, they could make it a playroom, make it very private, so the parents don't have to bother them in here. And here we go, plenty of space for an L-shaped couch. You are front facing, looking out to your driveway, your front yard and the street. To my left, large flat screen TV up on the wall, and I do love the painting they have up on the backsplash behind the TV as well. Nice TV stand here below where you can store anything you need. And the perfect playroom for your kids, as I said, because there are three bedrooms surrounding us, we're gonna first check out this one. Before we get there, more space for storage up above, down below, some countertop space. Here is this first bedroom. Okay, so here in this bedroom, you might look at this backside of the bed and think that it is a brick, but no, it's just painted like that. Gives you honestly a New York touch in here, East Coast vibes. And as you look out through these windows, this is the front yard facing the street. And I like that there's a cutout right here, this nook area where you can have a desk and you can do some studying. But then check this out, Raul, this might be my favorite poster we have ever seen legendary that must just motivate you whoever is doing work here to just get your day started and grind out some work right above your desk i kind of need that <laughs> so as we walk this way this room is en suite now one thing in this bathroom that adds a lot of character to it that you don't see too often is the shower walls it looks a little more hardcore honestly so i would think this room would be perfect for maybe the son of the family Gives it a nice touch. What do you guys think about that? It's a little bit different. We don't see that too often, but there is also a built-in bathtub. Same vanities that we've seen, but more countertop space in this one to both sides of the sink. Quartz countertops, large oversized mirror above, but it's a nice bathroom. I'm honestly just kind of speechless with the walls and the shower. Let us know what you think again of that. As we keep moving down the hall, all right, now we're gonna walk past this landing area again. And here we are in this space, more countertop space, more space down below for storage in these cabinetries. And let's go left or right, Raul? Right. Right, let's do it. To both sides of the bed, you do have a light fixture that you don't see too often. It's very fuzzy. When you look at it, you just wanna to touch it. I know you guys can't because you're just looking at a screen, but that is very nice. That's something a little bit unique. This room is also facing the front. You got windows bringing in sunlight from that side. Closet is right behind me. Plenty of storage space in here. And let's check out this bathroom en suite as well. Some similar finishes in the vanity with bright white modern looks. You have the quartz countertops, bright white cabinetry, white tiles on the floors, white toilet, of course, white bathtub. And then as you look into the shower walls, you have smooth, gray tiles, linear gray tiles, but with more of a wavy touch. It's not so much completely flat. There's a little bit of a 3D look to that and feel. Crumb shower head up on those tiles again. And now that's pretty much it for that room. Let's show you the next one. So this is a cozier room than the other two that we just showed you guys. It's a little bit smaller and it's not front facing so you don't look out onto the street or your driveway. This bedroom really does fit anyone though. It is side facing. You're looking at right next to your neighbor. You have the closet directly in front of me and let's just show you the bathroom in here. So as you can see, all the finishes in these bathrooms are different, unique in their own ways. Aside from the vanities, they're pretty similar with the quartz countertops and bright white cabinetry, chrome handles down there. We do have a circular tile on the flooring, built-in bathtub again, and then we have a wood paneling wall in the shower. Just on this wall, but on the other two walls, directly in front of your shower head, we have more of a white textured tile. And as we leave this last bedroom, we have one more to show you guys, the master. But personally, so far, I really like the look of this house. It's a little bit different as you have this common area right between all the three bedrooms that could be the kids' or roommates' rooms. Let us know what you guys think so far and hit the like button if you haven't yet, please. So as we move this way down the bridge of the second level, 
Just a grand entrance before you arrive to the primary bedroom. So check it out, a very spacious master bedroom, built-in speakers above, recessed lighting. This is just your own oasis here in this room. You have oversized windows looking out to the views and you see that dirt patch area over there, potentially that, that would be where the community pool and future canyon club of this area is. The rec center, a gym, everything is right next to this model home. But as we keep moving along, there is a large balcony. This is just living the life. Just imagine walking out of your bedroom and just taking on the views of the valley. Los Angeles weather. Not a cloud in the sky, I had to say it, look up. I don't see one, do you guys? No, you don't. And you can see there's also access to the bathroom, which we'll go into right now. Back inside the bedroom, we're gonna walk through the bathroom in here and you can see this open space leads us to your master bath. So check it out, we have a freestanding deep soaking tub right next to your sliding glass doors to give you the views of course. Sometimes you have the tub right next to an oversized window but this one's just next to the doors so you can just open them up. So over on this side you have your vanity, then you have your tub and now the shower. Now of course I'm gonna walk into the shower and one thing I really do like are these small black square tiles in here. Nice contrast from the light white modern to the dark color. And you also have the dark quartz shower bench, the same finish that we see on the countertops here in the bathroom. Chrome shower head up there. And I just needed to take a seat because this walkthrough has been great. 4,000 square feet of a walkthrough and we're almost done. Leaving the shower. One more thing to show you. Well, a couple more things to show you. Here's this vanity, same exact vanity as on the other side, symmetrical so that your partner can share the same thing as you. No one has to get jealous of each other. And in front of that, we have the toilet room where there will be a door right here that can close it off, make it private once someone does purchase this house. And now let's check out the closet. Walk-in closet, there is a his and her side, two separate areas. This one is a bit larger, so it could be the hers, or it depends. They can rock, paper, scissors over the bigger space. So as you see, you can put anything you might want in here, all your designer clothes. I like that this space is a little bit lower, so you can actually reach it only being about six foot tall as myself. And there's more space up there above, so if you're seven feet tall, that's the same thing for you up there. You have this little nook where you can maybe put some shoes. And then here is the other side. As I said, it's a little bit smaller, but it's the same as you have this nook in front of me. And then more countertop space below, up above. Definitely enough storage. We just gave you a full tour of this brand new construction model home in the northern San Fernando Valley and I had to ask Raul what's been your favorite part of this one? Definitely, man. I love these model homes. I feel like there's so much value in these, especially in these communities. One thing that I really loved about this one was the modern theme that it had. And aside from the modern theme, I love the open living space, the two living rooms, and the open kitchen was amazing. Just an overall amazing home. Yeah, I completely agree with you. That's a great answer. You have these two living rooms. We are in one of them now, just the open concept down here. But my answer would probably have to be the upstairs common area. I love that you can make it private. You can close off that barn door and there are three rooms for the kids so they can have it as their own space, maybe even a guest house. As I said earlier, it could be a playroom. That's what I would turn it into if I was 10 years old back in the day. But let us know what your guys' favorite part was about this one down in the comments below because we wanna know. Thank you guys so much for watching till the very end of the video. If you did and you haven't already, smash the like button down below. We really appreciate it. It helps out our channel tremendously. Also hit the subscribe button. We are currently posting videos every single week consistently without fail. So stay tuned for those. And we'll see you guys on the next one.